Candlestick Park, a stadium that has housed numerous championship teams, plays host for this afternoon's matchup between the Seattle Seahawks and the San Francisco 49ers. What do you think of the matchup at receiver today, Phil? A couple of guys that aren't considered top threats by the defenses, but they've certainly made big plays through the years and this season, too. Well, we'll find out when this game is over if they are top threats. You know, Jim, kids grow up nowadays. They want to be receivers because that's what the NFL has turned into, a passing league. So when you look at these two guys, they're going to get their chances. They're excellent route runners, and they're strong. So if they get that opportunity, they can break a tackle and still make a long play. The 49ers in the pistol. The wide receiver in motion. First and 10. And James has got it on the handoff. He's got room. And they bring it down at the 44-yard line. The defense cannot give up these long runs. You have to hustle to the ball. Get a lot of people around the ball carriers to make sure they don't take short gains and turn them into long ones. First and ten. And they go back to the ground, running to his right. Tackle down at the 46-yard line. The defense stands up early and stops the run cold. Good job that time. You said it, Jim, by the defense. They attacked the offensive line, and there was nowhere for the running back to run the football. Running away from the pressure, looking to the right side and throwing. That ball was going the other way. Nothing worse uh, as a quarterback to throw an interception early in the game, and you just got to make sure you go over the, to the bench, you talk to yourself, keep your confidence up, and keep attacking. That's a timeout by the defense. Baldwin's lined up now as a slot receiver. First and ten. Justin Smith brings the quarterback down. Well, that time, getting sacked early in the football game, just not a good job by the quarterback. He had the time. He held on to the football too long. You just got to get rid of him. Offense lines up here. Russell Wilson will take it from the gun. Gets away from the pressure. No time to even look up. He's sacked again. You got to be smart on the defensive side now here, third and long. Be a little careful. Maybe give up a short pass or a short run. And if they throw it short, make sure you come up and make the tackle. Down the field. And he makes the catch. What an effort and a touchdown. Good job that time by the offense, scoring that touchdown and putting him ahead. And when you get ahead in a football game, the National Football League, it makes you relax and you play better. And the extra point is good. The 49ers in kickoff return formation. Met head on right there at the 20. Ohio! Ohio! First down, offense readying for the snap. And gets the first down. Colin Kaepernick running the football like he did at the University of Nevada. He runs that zone option read, and when it's his time to keep the football, he can make it go. Ohio! Ohio! First down here after the run. Back to the ground. They break through. Tackle them behind the line. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. James lined up directly behind the quarterback here. 
looking at every option. And he's going to be brought down. Well, you see it all the time. When the offensive line can't stop the defensive pass rush, then you have your running backs hit a defensive lineman before they go out for the pass. Just had to avoid the sack. Incomplete. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Kaepernick on his way. The 20, the 10, and in for the touchdown. Well, here we are. It's a tie game now. We'll see how the teams react to it. Will it be positive or negative? They'll get set, looking to convert on this two-point try. And the defense will use one of its timeouts right here. The 49ers can tie it up with the point after. It's good. Ready to step up and send this one down to the end zone. They'll take it at the 20. Russell Wilson has it under center. Looking for Percy Harvin. And it falls incomplete. That's what you have to do as a defensive back. You've got to wait to the last second. Wait till the receiver uses his hands. And once they go up, put your hand in between them and knock that football down. What a play. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Should have had it. These receivers in the NFL, they are so good now. Anytime you see a drop pass, it's almost always the one reason. They took their eyes off the football before it got there. Let's see what they do on this third down situation. Wilson from the shotgun. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. Good for 29. How do you stop these receivers now? It's almost impossible with the rules of the game. Uh, tight coverage. That time they have double coverage on him. It doesn't matter. The throw comes. They go up, they make the catch. All you can do is raise your arm and go, well, we did our best. Play fake here, looking for an open risk. The pass is intercepted. Well, nowadays, your linebackers, they gotta be able to do everything. You gotta be big enough to get in there and stop the run, and also athletic enough to be able to get in position and make an interception. Good job by the linebacker. Lined up in the pistol formation. They motion the receiver around to the other side. First and ten. Michael James gets the carry. Goes to the left, breaks free, has some space to work with. That's a nice job blocking by the offensive line and a really good job by the running back. Seeing the proper hole, gets up in there and picks up big yards. That long game sets them up here on this play. Michael James... Now, slashing to the right side, looking for room. Well, when you give up a running play that that's long, you got to say this to the defense. You did not hustle enough. If you are hustling, when that running back makes that secondary move, you got to be there to make the tackle. Swarm the football. That's how you stop long runs. Let's go. 
Here they come, back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. First and 10, and James is going to secure the handoff. He steps out. Well, that last play almost got him in here, and when you look at this, what do they do? Well, you just want to punch it in. There's a lot of, lot of different scenarios. You could do a play-action fake, probably get somebody wide open, or have a running back just jump over the top for the touchdown. Defense ready in the goal line formation on this one. Play clock's running down. Pitches it back. Runs it across. Touchdown. Well, when your offense goes out there and scores a touchdown to put you ahead, it's got to give a big lift to the defense. they got to get excited and go out there and hold that lead. Welcome back, folks. We're getting set for the start of the next quarter. The Seahawks are in shape now to return the kick. And he begins his return. And he's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. They come to the line and it's first down. Oh, that could have been intercepted, but he couldn't hold on. Incompletion by the quarterback that time. It was good, tight, man-to-man -man coverage. Lynch is lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Eyeing that left side. That catch, good for a first down. The slant route, it's a timing route where the wide receiver plants his outside foot at five to six yards and catches the football eight yards down the field as he's going across the middle. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run, nowhere for the running back to go, and they stop him for a short game. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield, throws to the right, secures it with two hands. Good job by the quarterback completing that pass against the zone defense. Look for the open space when you throw against zones. That's what he did, and he got the nice completion. Wilson sells the play fake and looks downfield. The Seahawks line up in the pistol offense. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. Lynch is in the backfield. Single back set. Russell Wilson will take it from the gun. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down and he's in pain. Well, that looks like an upper body injury, Jim. I think we both can tell that. And, uh... Now the question is, how bad is it? Uh, you just never know. Harvin's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Wilson from the shotgun. Looks to his left. They fail to convert here on fourth down. Well, they don't get it on fourth down. That was, man, that was a quick drive, wasn't it, Jim? That was just bad play calling, bad execution, and go to the sideline. That's where you deserve to be. The 49ers lined up in the pistol. First and ten. He fires it in there tight. It's always good when your quarterback is able to deceive the defense with good play action fakes. That's what did it that time. Look at the quarterback. Nice fake. Defense reacts to the run, and now you throw it over the top for the easy completion. That brings the play to an end. The 49ers will go with the pistol on this play. Here comes the wide receiver in motion. 
Second and eight. James going to take the handoff now. Then picks up about three. Good job by the defense at times. Everybody's expecting a pass. They were ready for the run, and they stopped the offense for a short game in the red zone. Third down and five. He's scrambling now. The 49ers now move the chain. First down by the offense in the red zone. And, you know, if you're on the defensive side, you don't have to worry about deep passes anymore. You can be more aggressive and take some chances. First and goal. Working that left side. Cap 49ers in for the score. There is no lead in the NFL state. We all know that. We have seen tremendous comebacks. So when you get the opportunity, lay it on them, man. Keep scoring. 49ers setting up for the kickoff. He'll start his return. Nice tackle. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. The give to the running back. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. Russell Wilson will take it from the gun. And incomplete. Following that incompletion, it sets up third and ten. Looking to the right side and throwing. Well, the quarterback can't get him open. He threw to the right guy that time, but the coverage was so good by the defense, uh, nowhere to get the completion. Baldwin's in the slot. He's looking to the right here on this throw. The Seahawks get a first down. Well, it's always about risk and reward. It is a risk to go for it on fourth down. When you pick it up, you feel like a genius, don't you? Play action fake, looking to throw. And Harbin, with some nice hands, brings in the bullet pass. Oh, there's nothing like a play action pass. When the offensive linemen make it look like it's a run, the linebackers are all near the line of scrimmage and easy to throw it down the field for that completion. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. That'll stop the play right there. Well, there's not much to say about that play, Jim. It was a completion by the quarterback, and it picked up a couple yards. The quarterback coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Brings it in. It takes really good corners to play a defense where you challenge the wide receivers and just play them man-to-man -man coverage. I don't think this defense has that kind of quality corner. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. First and 10. Here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. Coming up, second down. Marshawn Lynch takes the football. Two here after the run. Could have been intercepted. <laughs> the quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time has the first down good job of the offense are in the red zone 
They're down by more than seven, but the defense, can you stop them and just give up the field goal try? This has been a long drive so far. First and ten. Going across the middle, under fire on that throw. This will be the offense's 12th play of the drive. Here it's a second and ten. Challenging the defender. Touchdown and drawing close. Man, what a touchdown there for the offense. The quarterback just fires that football in there. Look at the defenders around the receiver, but the receiver big enough, tough enough to go up in there and make that catch. Got the hand up into the sky, and that means fair catch. Ohio. Ohio. First down coming up. They hand it off to the running back. They knock him down, and he's still two yards short of the first. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. And James is a running back, but he's in the slot for this play. Second and two. They're running the option. Here's the pitch. The 49ers signal for the timeout, and they have none remaining. LaMichael James is in the backfield. Third and one. Looking for an open receiver on the right. There is a flag out. Incomplete. Almost going in the other Holy direction. Offense. The penalty is declined. That last play will hold up. James lined up in a single back formation. The wide receiver shifting around in motion. But Michael James gets the carry. Game of seven. I like this play call this time. They go for it on fourth and short. And they call the right play, and they pick up the first down. So that's going to do it for the first half. 49ers are up in this one. We're back here now in this one, where the 49ers are leading by seven. He's got a chance to return this one. Miller's a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. The third quarter begins with this play. Needs to get rid of it. Justin Smith brings the quarterback down. That time I give all the credit on that sack. I got to give it to the secondary. It is truly a coverage sack. Nowhere to throw the football, so the quarterback keeps hold on to it. And look what happens. The defense gets there. The offensive line gets in position. Can they protect their quarterback? The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. When you pick up first downs against the defense, they will get tired. That time, nice job by the offense getting the first down, even though they're losing here in the game. First down following the long play. Looking for Percy Harvin. Hauls it in deep down the middle. Good job by the offense getting in the red zone. Now you're down some points. you got to find a way to score a touchdown. After the long gain, let's run it across for the touchdown. 
The fullback in most offenses in the NFL very seldom gets to carry the football, but down near the goal line, they serve a good purpose. Quick hitting plays by a big, powerful guy gets it done. Seahawks ready here for the kickoff. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. Setting up in the pistol on this play. The quarterback motions the wide receiver. First and ten. LaMichael James. Then picks up about three. LaMichael James is in the backfield. Second down and seven. Throws to the right. Almost intercepted. Well, the quarterback's hurried on the play, and he throws it in completion. Well, the QB had no chance, Jim, that time. No chance. The Ohio, offensive line just Ohio. has to keep the defenders off the quarterback a little longer. Lined up in the pistol Here formation. The wide receiver in motion. Third and seven, and James is taking the handoff. A tackle that had to be made, and that will set up fourth down. Colin Kaepernick under center. The 49ers now move the chains. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down, now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you've got that defense guessing. The 49ers will approach this play from out of the pistol. Into the open now as he crosses the first down marker. When you run off tackle, one of the things you're looking for is for your tackle to make a good block, and then if you have a lead fullback, can he get past him and block the linebacker to free up the halfback so he can go in between them and get in the secondary and make a big play. Running back in motion here. First and ten. Antoine Bolden with the catch. I think the best thing to say about that play, it's just it, it gained a few yards, so that's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple yards. Flex round! Flex round! Colin Kaepernick under center. Flex round! Flex round! Second down and two. Looking to the right side and throwing. Breaks the tackle. The tackle is made. The offense picks up another first down and extends this drive. They are, Jim. They're marching down the field, and I give all the credit to the offensive line. They are dominating the defense right now. First down and 10. When you see this cover two defense as a quarterback, you got to know where to throw the football. That time, he did not make a good decision. You got to throw it sometimes deep down the middle. The safeties are not there. They're outside. He did not take advantage of that coverage that time. Ohio! Ohio! Split backfield here. Second and ten. The pass complete. The 49ers get a first down. Well, when you have a tie game and you're down in the red zone, you can do whatever you want. You can fool them with a the run here, or you can take a chance and throw the football in the end zone to get a score. Catch the defense off balance. Draw play. And for about six, they're just grinding away down here, inching closer to the end zone. Well, that's what you got to do sometimes. It's hard always to think that you're going to come out and just make big plays. You've got to do the dirty work, and this offense is doing it right now. Second and goal from the two. They tackle him for a loss. When we were at practice on Friday, Jim, this team was working on red zone offense all the time. Well, here they are. It's a tie game. We'll see if all that practice pays off. Third and goal from the four. Looking across the middle, driving ahead for four. Good job of the defense that time, stopping them inches short of the goal line. Big play. The 49ers call timeout, and they'll have two remaining.
goal line defense on the field. They motion the receiver around to the other side. It's fourth down, and it's goal to go. Change of possession coming up as they fail to pick up the first down on fourth down. They face first down. Lynch. Got the first, and he's got some space. A foot race to the end zone. Good job on the ground there by Lynch. When you see long runs like that by a running back, a lot of things have to happen. Of course, he has good vision, and he has talent. But how about those blocks down the field, those blocks in the secondary? That's what creates long runs. Now first and ten. He's looking to the right here on this throw. That time it was an easy completion for the quarterback on the play action pass and it fools the defense because look how aggressive the offensive line is. They sold the play to the defense and the quarterback took advantage. One last play before the quarter ends. First and ten, Lynch is handed the football. And he's out of bounds. That wraps up the third quarter here in one of the world's greatest cities, San Francisco. We'll be back in just a moment for the start of the fourth. It's now second down. This play call is for the fullback. Baldwin's a receiver in the slot. Robinson's going to take the handoff from the eye. Teams in the NFL spend about 30-40% of their time all week long practicing plays in the red zone. So there's a lot they can do here. Let's see if they come up with something that works. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. They'll run it with him again. When you have an offense like this that just keeps getting first downs, not only are they moving in scoring position, but they're giving their defense a lot of rest. They're able to move the chains after that last run. On first down, it's back to the Seahawks are in the end zone for the touchdown. I would bet first and goal that the offense about 90 percent of the time is going to run the football and what do they do here they run it and they get it done that is power of football at its best steven hauschka ready for the kickoff Split backfield here. First and ten. The throw to the left. Kaepernick hits Crabtree with that pass. Sometimes it's good protection by the offensive line, and sometimes it's just bad defense. They can't get to the quarterback, and that's another completion by him. Challenging the defenders to the right side, and he's tackled at the 32-yard line. Nice job by the quarterback finding the open guy short. They get the completion. They still do not get the first down, though. Second and seven. Looking for an open receiver on the right. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. The quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good. It's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. Breaks free. Stands in the pocket, getting sacked. Well, that's what happens. The quarterback's looking down the field. Everybody's covered. Nice job by the defense. And he holds it too long, and they sack him. 
Second and 12. Throws to the right. The 40 falls out. And the recovery is made by the defense. That's what you call take away. The defense just makes such a hard hit that they take the football away from the offense and they recover the fumble. First down here. Here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch. And he is tackled at the 44. 